let's talk about it, man. So look, uh, I came across this video, right? All right, so this is Dr. Phil. Now, me personally, I'm not really a Dr. Phil type of guy. I'm more of a Jerry Springer, um, Mari type of guy. Like I'm, I'm those type, those type of shows that I will watch. Uh, just for the entertainment purpose, you know what I'm saying? But Dr. Phil is not something I watched. Last time I think I watched Dr. Phil was when that uh, that ghetto Catch Me Outside girl was on. Yeah, that's the last. I think that was like four or five years ago. So look, man, we got Dr. Phil today. Now, this is you don't ever, never, ever put your hands on a woman in anger. So me personally, how I feel about uh, men abusing women, I'm against that fully. I don't feel like no man should ever put their hands on a woman. I feel like no woman should ever put their hand on a man. You know what I'm saying? So look, we've been going ahead and check it out, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I appreciate all y'all support, man. I really don't be saying that, but bro, I really love every single one of y'all, and I appreciate all y'all support. I even appreciate the haters, bro, because guess what? Y'all haters making me rich, so I appreciate y'all too. Anyways, man, if we can go ahead and check this out. Woof. If you go ahead and check it out, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow you more on all social media platforms down below. Without further ado, come on, doctor. Let's see. What These you're are Michael's about. allegations. He says that she attacked with football moves and tackles and punched. <laughs> Kicked in the face, had a chair that was swung at him from across the room. Uh, his mouth was cut up, bloody nose and scratches on his face, neck, and chest. So you say... Oh, we fight it. We fight it. I know I said I'm against it, but bro, and you know, you telling me if a woman was to sit there and tackle a man with football, girl, what is you, a DB? You ain't on no football team. You know what I'm saying? You tackling me, you throwing chairs at me. What do you want me to do? What 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 honest do you want me to just what what you want me to do? We gonna see what Doc we gonna see what Dr. Phil said because bro, I really wanna know what he's finna say. Cut up, bloody nose and scratches on his face, neck, and chest. So you say she has come at you, she has attacked you, and that oftentimes you have done what you have done purely in defense. Yes, that incident, definitely. I don't care what she does. If she starts way. punching you, mm -hmm. then you turn around and walk away. Ain't no, ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way, boy. I know, Dr. Phil, I know you did not just say what I think you just said, bro. Did you just sit here and say, number one, you started off with, I don't care. You, did you just tell this man that you don't care what this woman done to him? She tackled him with football moves if she, if she was a DB. She threw a chair at him across the room, kicked him. Did, she did all this to this man, and you tell him he don't have the right out of defense to do anything. Now, when I say I'm against women, I'm against men being no women. I'm against him to a certain extent, okay? Now, when a woman is doing all this, bro, I don't think a man will go to jail if a woman did all this and he have proof and he have bruises on him and she ain't got nothing on her, really. I, I feel like... A man, I feel like women and men should not put their hands on each other, period. Because if a woman's doing all this to me, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna I'm a hold myself out of defense. I'm gonna tackle her. Uh, I'm probably, I'm not gonna like punch her in the face or beat her like she a dude on the street, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna tackle her, pin her down to let her know, like, bro, don't touch me. Don't, don't touch me. You're not my mother. That's what I would do out of defense. But, doctor, you just told him that you don't care. We're going to see what else he said because, bro, ain't no way you just told this man that you don't care what she do to him. Walk away? How am I walk away when I just got tackled like, I, like I'm a nigga on the street? How am, I walk, how am I walk away? How? How, doctor? How? Would you walk away? No, you wouldn't. Man, come on, man. As a doctor, you got to watch what you say sometimes. You can't give people the wrong advice. If she starts you punching you... Mm -hmm then you turn around and walk away. If she starts, if she starts, if she starts following you, then you walk faster. If she starts chasing you, then you outrun her. If you have to, you get behind the door. What, what, what if she like another Shakira? We're not even gonna talk about that. I know y'all, I know y'all finna, we're not even gonna talk about that, okay? But before she, before, you know, before the whole incident and everything happened, even though she was smoking weed, man, but still. That, that's, besides, that's a whole nother topic. What if she like another Shakira? What if she outrun me? What if she outrun me, Doc? I'm a I'm a 180-pound man, and I know that, you know, I'm not the fastest in the world, but what if she outrun me? What if she grab on my neck, choke me to death? You want me to still walk away? 
What is she? Where is she tasting? You want me to get up and just say hey, it's okay, baby, and walk away? Come on, Doc. You gotta watch what you say, cause everything is to a certain extent. Come on, man. Or, but you don't ever, never, ever put your hands on a woman in anger ever. <laughs> And somehow or another, you... Th it was not out of anger. It was out of defense. I don't understand your logic, doctor. It was out of defense. He put his hands on her out of defense. Not Maybe it was out of anger. But still, she did all this to him first. You tell me he don't have the right to defend himself? What type of stuff is this? I feel like Dr. Phil is telling him this stuff because this is what the crowd want to hear. And I bet 99% of the crowd is have women. And I bet that's what, that's the people that's clapping. Because I, I feel like no man should put their hands on a woman. I feel like no woman should put their hands on a man. Cause what if the roles was reversed? What, like, it would have still been the same thing. I don't understand his logic of telling this man this. You can't walk away from a situation. That's like saying, if, if she pulled out a gun and shot him in the leg, just get up and walk away? No. I'm finna, first of all, I'm gonna be hurt. Probably gonna be screaming out for help. Probably be saying this be crazy. I might end up calling her out her name for the first time. I don't ever call women out their name, but when, when she do stuff like that, it's like, I can't hold it back. <sighs> Dr. Phil, I don't know what you're talking about, but your logic is not making sense to me, bro. Think that's funny somehow? Tell me what's funny about that. You just don't put your hands on a woman in anger. And anybody that does is a chicken <laughs> coward. I'm done. I'm done. No, you're not I'm done. done. No, let me tell you. I'm done. Okay, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you want to be done, if you want to walk out of here, then you can walk straight into the LAPD, my friend. Because, and let me tell you something. Right, because yeah, last night, because last night in our hotel, as our guest, you decided to trash a hotel room. And in that hotel room, you created vandalism of personal property. And let me tell you what that amounts to, okay? So you want to get all self-righteous with me, buddy boy. You smashed the thermostat, you smashed the glasses, you tore up the lamp, and every person who maliciously commits any of the following acts with respect to any real or personal property not his or her own, in cases other than those specified by state law, is guilty of vandalism, and that person faces up to a year in prison and a $10,000 fine. So you are here by my grace, my friend. So you can talk to me or you can talk to the LAPD backstage. Your choice. If you think a man putting his hands on a woman what? in anger is cowardly, stand up. First off, man, sit down. Black man, stay sitting down. The woman's, there's so many women. It's it's only women. And then you got, you got, you got Albert Einstein in the back. I, look, honestly, my whole thing with this situation is that if she hit him first and she did all those vandalisms to him first, tackle him through a chair, I honestly feel like this man had the right to defend himself. Now, if he did, now if he hit her first out of anger, oh no, buddy, buddy, now I'm finna beat you like, we got to fight one-on-one -on -one now. Because if I ever see a man touch a woman first, we got to throw hands. Because I'm not with that. But from his aspect and from what I seen on that screen, and he was just defending himself, oh, yes. That's that's totally correct. You can defend yourself. Don't punch her. Don't do none of that. Just tackle her, pin her down, put her hands behind her back as if you use the, LA, the LAPD. Hey, just do that. Uh, like, just do that. Just say you're under arrest. Now, don't get freaky now, because I know that could turn into something else. Don't do that, okay? Remind you. She she tackled you. She treats you like a bee. Okay? So, you know what I'm saying? It's certain things you can do. But, doctor, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not with your advice. I'm really not. I mean, 
out of anger, yes, I'm with that. I feel like no man should ever put their hand on a woman. I feel like no woman should ever put their hand on a man. It's always going to be vice versa. Be treated how you want to be treated. Simple as that. Anyways, man, I'm going to go ahead and get off this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. It's been your boy, Japan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.